Hello there everybody and welcome to Final Fantasy uh, 10 part um, uh, 8, yes 8, part 8. Uh, we are in uh, the town of sure Killica. Anyway. No it is 8 because I uploaded episode 7. Um, this is um, uh, one of the first recordings we're doing uh, in this little cycle of recordings uh, and let's get cracking. We're in Kilika and uh, are we in Kilika? Is this Kilika? Yes. Yeah, it is Kilika. Uh, so we need to um, head to here, run into the uh, yeah. So it looks like the Besaidor Rocks are rebuilding the place. After all, we did draw sin here, and we've got a scene, so I'll be quiet. Sin washed here. Now, obviously, what we've got to do here, guys, is um, walk over here and initiate a scene. Then we'll shut up. So then, we'll, then we'll shut up for the time being, okay? We'll be quiet now. Of course, we will. Oh, yeah. Uh. What's ascending? Are we going somewhere? <sighs> you truly are clueless. Are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? You love me, don't you, darling? You are. You are so you nice don't to me. Need guidance. Not a bitch at this point, Mike's not picking us up. It is. It is. Tough. Filled with grief over their own death. They refuse to face their fate. They yearn to live on and resent those still alive. You see, they envy the living. And in time, that envy turns to anger, even hate. It's quite a... Uh... What an interesting, um... Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. That's quite an interesting point, that, um, the dead eventually sad. become monsters. Isn't I mean, it? hell yeah! Yeah, that's takes sad. them to the far plane, where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm. This is kinda... We get one of the one of this game one of one of in my opinion this game's favourite um, FMVs coming up shortly, um, known known internationally as the Unidance. So let's um, allow the Unidance to occur because here it is it's Unidance time. Holy shit! You can walk on water. Someone else can walk on water now, guys. Sir. Amazing little thing to discover, isn't it? Some of us can walk on water, like Jesus. But here's a great FMV sequence, guys. So. I'm getting a bit misty eyed myself. your heart, doesn't it? All these people are just doing their jobs. And they, um, they were taken so soon. And of course, you just got a, you just got a magic waterfall now. I get the impression Tidus is there thinking, God, she couldn't look more sexier if she tried right about now. She's dancing on a massive waterfall. How cool is that? Well, she's standing there for See all the ghosts of the people flying away, man. No, but I mean, could you ma think about it like this? Think about how much how much better funerals would be if this sort of stuff happened at funerals. 
Right guys, so n now we're, we're here to um, send Auntie Ethel to Auntie Ethel away, and um, uh, please welcome uh, some. Please welcome Summoner Dave Johnson, who's going to um, send uh, our um, our Auntie Ethel uh, to the far plane. Um, Dave Johnson, up you come. I'm <laughs> playing pop music too. <laughs> Really, really heavy dance music, have you know? It must be tough being a summoner. I'll bet. Yuna chose her own path. She knew from the beginning what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way until the end. Until the end? Of course, Titus doesn't know what a um, What's the end? means, doesn't it? Does he yet? He knows that, just not. He doesn't. He doesn't know what happens at the end of a pilgrimage. Until she defeats Sin. Everyone else seems to. Everyone else knows oh. what's going on, but he just doesn't get it. <laughs> I hope. I hope I did okay. You were amazing. You did very well. They've reached the far plane by now, but... Hang on, this no is the most awkward hug ever, happen. because they didn't have the animation to do it, look. I wished there would it, never From this be angle, it looks like a hug, but when, when it was close no up, legitimately... By sin. Right, she was about a foot no away from her. No for Yuna. <laughs> Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow, horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. So, uh, yeah, um, we've just done ascending, and uh, Tidus is sleeping, uh, sounding like uh, somebody's brother, um, particularly mine, and, um, yeah. Oi. Tidus, brother is in the background. Tidus has woken up in what appears to be uh, a hotel area. Now, obviously, we're heading for the Kilika Temple to pick up our second uh, Aeon. Hey, you awake? Captain Walk is waiting for you. Which will be when I join. Well, which will be when we initiate control of us. Until then, I will continue walking. Right so we're gonna go and find Captain Walker. Even though, uh, well, at the moment he's still a captain. So. Yeah, I know Walker's waiting for him, but where is Walker? Huh? Waiting? <laughs> the crying little girl. Whoa! He died. Died and intervened then. You don't need to do this, the um, religion sign to me, darling. I don't believe that bullshit. Yeah, I know Walker's waiting for me. I don't know where, though. <laughs> I'll really look around and hopefully run into uh, Walker somewhere around here. I always get confused with um, the Kilika docks. It's a bit of a maze. Oh, there's Walker. I see. I see Walker's ginger spiky hair. Here he is. Yo, Ginge. Ah, there you are. Be said, Orox. Hello. On to the temple where we pray for victory. Go. High Summoner O'Hallan used to live in the Kilika Temple here. Yep, Lord O'Hallan was once a great blitzer, you know. Waka. Hmm? Praying for victories, oh, good. Uh, but is this right? Something wrong with enjoying Blitzball? Is this really the time? This is the only time. The players fight with all their strength. The fans cheer for their favorite team. They forget pain, suffering. Only the game matters. That's why Blitz has been around for so long. At least that's what I think. Kind of works a bit like football then. Um, <laughs> people play. forget wars and, and stuff and just uh, concentrate right. on football. You know, that takes you back to um, right. the World War II situation of um, the jungle there. Christmas Day uh, during one of the years of the World War. 
um, obviously between uh, the Allied forces and Germany, uh, both sides, um, I think it was the second, or was it, it might have been the first actually, um, apologies if my facts are a bit off, but you know, I wasn't alive in the First World War, the Second World War, because I'm particularly young, um, but you know, and there was that there was that situation where they, they all put down their arms, climbed out of the trenches, and played football um, in no man's land. And then um, at the end at the end of the day, they all sh they all shook hands, walked back into their trenches, picked up machine guns, and started killing each other again. Um, that actually, that actually happened, and um, you know it, it's it's a well known uh, bit of uh, history, really. Yeah. So, how do we get to the uh, Kirka Temple then? Oh, this is where we started. I thought the temple was to the right, but it seemed to be. So let's go down the left, the left route instead. I already found Walker. Now it's just a matter of time finding him. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, we can go up here now. We couldn't go up here before because one of the guys was rebuilding the staircase. So I'm assuming this is the correct the correct route because it was fast. blocked off to us earlier, and it is now unblocked. So we can now go that way. Did it fast though, didn't it? Like Ten minutes. I'm gonna build the stairs. Oh, here we go. We're in the forest now. Just adjusting my audio recorder. So we've got a save point here. May as well. As you guys can see, there's been a long gap between me playing this and um, the other file being played. Because look, the other file is well in the distance in Lake Macalania, whereas we are here. Yuna is saying she that wants file, you with that us. That file's mine. Huh? I want to ask you to be my guardian. Hey, you know what? I'm for There's it. no time for jokes, yeah? Kid or not? He may be a blitzball whiz kid, but up against fiends, he's a newbie. I don't know about that, mate. Not a guardian, then. I just want him nearby. What? Wow. What? What do you mean? It's just that. Don't question the well, beautiful woman who wants you near her. We're all going to the temple anyway. Can't just wait till later. Uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have... There's nothing to be sorry about. I'm just not really sure what's going on. You know, you're not sure about what's going on the My entire focus. game, mate. That really doesn't help. You know nothing for legitimately about three hours of gameplay. You really need to talk. Better set, better set a battle party. Um, who needs the leveling? Um, to be honest, Kimari hasn't actually done anything, so it's about time Kimari got into got into the fray. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Kimari at the uh, front of the party, so that Kimari can participate in the fights. It's the first time we've had Kimari, so now we've got Kimari. We might as well use it. Got Lulu in case of any elemental attacks. Kimari, why don't you use Lancet on it? What's a Lancet? Normally, it's a skill that weakens enemies and heals the user. But when a Ronso uses it, that Ronso can sometimes learn Fiend's abilities. Hey, sounds cool. So obviously we've got to use Kimari's Lancet attack here. And he's learnt Seed Cannon. Um, might as well have Kamari use Monster Rage Seed Cannon then. Uh, we'll follow that up with a physical attack from Tidus. And down it goes. Tidus is going to be my powerhouse. I'm going to up his HP and strength, and that's about it. Um, he's going to get maybe the odd bit of white magic, but apart from that, I want him to be a, uh, I want him to be a hard hitting super fighter. The fiend before us is Ochu, Lord of the Wood. Right. We've had trouble with this one before. Remember, discretion is the better part of valor. Which means... So are you telling me not to fight it then? Well, fuck what you say! Oi! 
Ocho. Oi, Ocho. Fucking put him up, bitch. Put him up now. Yeah. Oh. Put him up. Okay. Physical. Yep, physical hurts. Poison floor hurts more. Why not see, what, see if he learns anything? Nope. Fire. Looks like he's made of grass. Kamari back out. Uh, I think I'm gonna be better. It's gonna be better use having Walker here. And his dark attack. Going for sword play there, Tidus. Right, Waka swap out with Yuna in. White magic is sooner you. Black magic. Hang on, he's using water. Thunder. Much the same as fire. Uh, let's go with cure on Tidus, because he's weak. Uh, Tidus, you know what to do. No, don't miss. You made me do, you made me send Luna to, Luna to do a physical now. Damn it, okay. Sooner. Oh, you can put everyone's attack and defense. That's gonna help us out. Tina's physical. Blood magic fire. Soon myself. Anyway, um, Sonic Wings. Fire Blood Magic. Fire Blood Magic. Surely not going to hit Bearford. What? Bearford's in the air for God. Yeah, good. I was say. Bearford's bloody flying. Bearford's not going to Fire. Any blast. This might finish him. One 
Managed to do 1400 damage, so it was worth, it was worth, it was worth having there. Tidus in. Fire. That, that battle took more of a toll on the party than I was expecting, but everyone's got at least one sphere level, so um, that's pretty good. We've got two for Kimari, we can do some stuff for Tidus as well. Lulu's got some, um, but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna be very careful with them and I'm gonna save them up a little bit. We've got the Baroque Sword though, so we can put that on someone. And uh... a summoner and her guardians, very impressive, sir. We should fight too. We'll get our chance soon enough. Young Crusaders gather around. We'll be sitting to the ground. <laughs> Young Crusaders gather around. We're all gonna die in. We're all gonna die on the ground. <laughs> of course, Crusaders are fucking pointless. Um, let's do something with Tidus' sphere points, but let's be, let's think about it first. We could go up this way and then provoke, but I don't know if I wanted to then provoke. Um, Ah, auto life's over that way, so, um, what's the best route you route to get there, though? Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go this way. I think, um, we'll go into this section of stuff here, and, uh, yeah, we'll go this way. So, Tidus, could you move to, um, Up your accuracy, and that's all you can do. Walker, we can use around here. No, can we move? Yep, where do we want to go there with Walker? And we've already been over that way, so I think we're gonna. We seem to only be able to go that way. I'm gonna hold off on using Walkers. Lulu's is also important. I know what Lulu will move. Lulu she needs to go up, didn't she? We use one to go up. We're gonna need a level one locking and we're gonna head this way. There's also up there, so we wanna head up that, that way. Um, let's go to Yuna. Now Yuna's obviously our white mage, so Yuna needs to learn all of the all of these. So Yuna needs to move to uh, the next one which she's gonna learn, which is Seemingly we should go there first. We'll use an ability sphere there to learn null shock. And we'll send him in a, in a full semicircle around there over the next couple of levels. Kimari. I'm gonna keep Kimari I'm gonna keep Kimari sort of where he is because I'm gonna take Kimari down to here. Um, and over there. I'm going to have him use a speed sphere there to open that. A mania sphere there to open that. Because um, as soon as we get some some uh, numbered key spheres, uh, he'll be able to get him to learn ultimate. And uh, I'd quite like him to learn that. So Kamari's keeping one movement level. Waka's keeping a movement level. Um, let's hear a look now. Check our configuration. Yep, Aeons are actually set to default, so let's set them to short now. And let's continue up the trek. And battle some fight some enemies along the way.
stay down. Yeah. I love the I love the way they um Yeah that's definitely leave that one to loot. Yeah I know. So you hit it too. <laughs> Man, Lois can't hurt it, huh? Stop. Only magic can hurt this one. Thing is, the physical attack does hurt it. It's just Anyone water. thirsty? Yeah, me actually. But there we go guys, um We'll continue the run towards the Killika Temple in the next episode, given that we got to 25 minutes already. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode when we head to Killika Temple. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode. Catch you on the flip side.